Hello, my name is Carrie Ann, and finally the news is out. There's a new Raspberry Pi on the block, and it's called the B. Let's take a first look at what's the same and what's different on the new Raspberry Pi B. Here you can see the Model B Plus and the Model B next to each other and they are roughly about the same size. They also use the same processor and have the same amount of RAM. So what's different then? Well the first thing to notice is that there are four USB ports, which is very exciting because it means that now you have room for more USB devices. So for example, normally I have my keyboard and mouse plugged into my Raspberry Pi, but now I can also add my Wi-Fi dongle and if I want to get any files off, I can plug in my magic USB stick. Another visible change is the SD card slot. The Model B Plus uses a micro SD card and only has a slot size big enough for that. If you've got a noobs card, um, you'll be able to take out the micro SD from it and plug it straight into the Model B Plus. It's important to note that the same software will work with the Model B Plus as with the Model B, so you can still use Raspbian and noobs. Another new feature is that the B Plus has lots more GPIO, general purpose input output pins. This is great news if you want to do some physical computing or you want to control real world objects like LEDs, for example. Here you can see I've got Pi stops plugged in at one end and I'm flashing an LED at the other end. There are 40 pins in total and it's important to note that the first 26 are exactly the same as the Model B. So if you've got projects that are already using the first 26, they remain the same. Another improvement is in the audio. If you're having fun at the moment with Sonic Pi or you've downloaded the new version of Sonic Pi, Sonic Pi 2, the quality of the audio is much, much better. Designed so that you can plug in speakers and headphones. Another improvement to note is in the power consumption. And this is really beneficial if, you, for example, you're running a robot and your robot and your Raspberry Pi are running off batteries, then those batteries are gonna last longer. I've saved the best news till last. The B Plus is credit card sized with rounded edges and it will only cost $35. So what are you waiting for? If you want to learn how to set up your B Plus, then check out this cool animation at the bottom from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. And if you want to learn how to add the software you need onto a micro SD card, then check out my noobs video at the top. So there you have it, the Raspberry Pi B Plus, the final evolution of the original Raspberry Pi. Get yours now, get hacking with Raspberry Pi, and you can use the Raspberry Pi resources on the website. You can still use my book. Remember, the first 26 pins are the same, so if you want to do something with GPIO, the stuff in here will still work. My name is Carrie Ann, you've been watching the Geek Girl Diaries, and remember, just a mouse click away. Now all I need is a case.